Good morning vlog. It is some day. I don't know what day. It is Tuesday, September 19th. And I am in Greenville, South Carolina because the Renegades are playing the Greenville Drive in the championship. And so this is really fun. And we got here yesterday, just did dinner. And now we're having a day in Greenville and then they play tonight and then the if necessary game is tomorrow and hopefully there is an if necessary game because that means we win tonight. For all the part of the vlog where I introduce myself, my name is Jamie. I work in minor league baseball for the Hudson Valley Renegades. We are currently looking for the Chick-fil-A. It's like by our hotel. I'm going to worry, but she's on the phone with her mom right now. But there is a Chick-fil-A. We are just looking for it. Oh my God, a McDonald's Slay. We got off the plane yesterday and country music was playing in the airport. And I was like, oh my God, I love it here. Like I, I really thought that I was meant to live in the South for a really long time. I found Chick-fil-A. I don't know, maybe I'll just end up staying here. Who really knows? E-R-E-F. Do you want to say hi to my vlog? Sure. Say hi. hi. We're at Zach's <laughs> and I'm going to try it. It's french fries, scorching hot. Very hot. You said it's better? Yeah. It's better. Mm, this chicken's kind of fire. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're hot. Yeah, this, one like ten, right? this one looks like kind of made. No, we ended up just getting the number one. Wait, these are the best crinkle cut fries I've ever had. Ever? <laughs> yeah. I usually don't like crinkle cut fries. So that was a little cute little um, southern morning. Went to Chick-fil-A and then we just went to Zaxby's. So that was cute. Let me show you guys what I'm wearing because I'm going to change soon. I'm just wearing this little tank top, which is from American Eagle. Um, maybe it's from Air Force, I don't really know, actually. And then this skirt is from Target. And then I'm just wearing my Steve Madden wedges. And we're going top golfing. Um, but right now it's about 147 and I'm going to finish editing my playoff vlog so I can get it up. All right, so this is the fit. I'm wearing my Hudson Valley Renegades hat. My hair's up in a pony. Exercise dress is from Target. And then shoes are Balenciaga, bag, Dior. Um, dressing like an MLB wife. Dress for the job you want, not the job you have. One thing about me is that if there's sangria on the menu, I'll be drinking it. My brother, I told him we were mini golfing. That was good. That works. Their stadium is modeled like the Red Sox one. Mm -hmm. So we're on top of the Green Mountain right now. <laughs> Green, monster. Green Monster. Green Mountain me. What are your thoughts on the stadium, on everything going on? Yo, South Carolina is different. <laughs> the stadium is it looks nice. Oh my god, it's so nice, guys. It, 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 it is giving me like Fenway Park feel. Well, that's the Mini point. Fenway Park. They modeled it after Fenway Park. Like, we have a it is cool here. Oh, New York made it down here, though. Look, New York like, made it down here. You see it? <laughs> oh, New York. And so we lost. And I'm really emotional right now. Um. And yeah, that's where I'm at. We're both sad. And this is now yeah. our last night together because I'm going back to LaGuardia tomorrow and she's going to Rochester and then she's going to Florida and her internship's over. And I'm sad and we're sad and it's depressing. <laughs> I don't think the tears are gonna um, set in until tomorrow. I think they're gonna come in the airport. <laughs> because I didn't start crying with Brie until after Brie left. So. Oh wow, I can't wait for you to cry on your plane. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna be a mixture of like crying because like I'm leaving the Renegades as a whole, but also like missing Jamie, but also missing Luke. Oh, she'll missing, miss me. <laughs> but also missing like all my friends right. on the team that I've made. Okay. I am a little less all over the place right now. I'm kind of just packing to go to the airport and go home. We went out last night, a bunch of the staff and whatever. We were up until 4 a.m. and it's now like 9. So I'm just packing to get ready for the airport because we rebooked all of our flights. So we could go home today. This was like a cute little spot for my emotional breakdown last night. So I guess it works again today. I think I made a TikTok about this too. But for a really long time in my life, I was like this hopeless, romantic, dreaming of love and all of that. And 
I said in that TikTok that I don't think I really started like considering like years of my life until I had my first kiss. And then from that point forward, I defined my summers in terms of the men that I was seeing or dating or flirting with or whatever. So like 2018 was like the best summer ever. And I'll tell myself, oh yeah, I was working in the city and I was doing this and this and this. But really I had the boy that I wanted since I was 14 and then like all the different things were happening. Um, and I think the reason why this summer coming to an end is so emotional is because I think this, this was the first summer that I really felt like I was living for myself and not for the people around me. Like I wasn't looking for the validation from men. Like I wasn't doing any of those things and like I wasn't dating anyone, like I wasn't doing anything. Um, like this summer was just all about me and growing and developing and being my own human. And I think that that's why the summer coming to an end is so scary. Not even scary, but it's like crazy and changing and like whatever because this summer meant so much to me as a person. Um, so summer 2023, I love you forever, babe. Oh, this looks so freaking yummy. I love chicken and eggs. We're through security and we're um, near the same gate, so we're delaying the inevitable goodbye. <laughs> I just posted my summer dump on Instagram and now I'm gonna cry and say goodbye to Tori. <laughs> okay, so right now I'm filming this and it is a week since this vlog. I don't know, it's kind of crazy because it feels like it was a lifetime ago. Like, so much has happened. I went home and then I came back to my apartment and then I went back home to Long Island for the weekend and now I'm back in my apartment and we're now in the off season and life is changing and being crazy and all the different things but I wanted to come here and this vlog I was definitely a bit emotional in this vlog a bit a lot emotional in this vlog and it's because I like I said like summer 2023 just meant so much to me for being a human and for growing and developing and I am just so excited for the rest of my life and I don't know um but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for my next one.